dear friends today stress strength question is an elastic rod 30 mm diameter and length of the 200 mm extended by the applied load of 40 kN and up to extend is del L equal to 0.25 mm find out the stress strain and modulus of elasticity now first find out the area we know that the area formula is uh, simple pi by 4d square is pi by 4 into 30 whole square and then we got the result of the stress p by a 40 into 10 to the cube divide area the load is the 40 kN therefore stress is 56.6 newton per millimeter square strain we know that the strain is the del l by l extended length divide original length now the 0.25 given in question and 200 total length of the bar original length and uh, applying the calculator and we got we get 1.25 into 10 to the power minus 3 this is the dimensionless quantity strength and the modulus of elasticity denoted by e or young modulus this is the stress divided strength by the hooks law applying the mathematical calculation get the result of 4.53 10 to the power 4 newton per millimeter square or 45.3 gpa now go to the question number two a cast iron column external diameter is 300 millimeter and the thickness is 25 millimeter therefore external diameter minus 2 into thickness now the 300 minus 50 equal to 250 millimeter we get the area 2.16 10 to the power 4 millimeter square question has given the crushing strength when the applied load on the column due to the vertically applied load is the maximum strength is 50, 560 newton per millimeter square and factor of safety is 5 now first we calculate the working stress this is the working stress is here f safe then the a crushing divide factor of safety then value is 112 newton per millimeter square we know that the stress equal to load divided area therefore load equal to stress into area now the load p safe equal to stress f safe into area therefore our f safe load is 2419.2 kN go to the question number 3 this is the 30 mm diameter steel rod subjected to the tensile force xl load and the y subjected to the strain when the XL load is applied, I like P, then strain is 0 0.005, triple zero 0.005, and the up with in question, the value of the modulus of elasticity is 200 GPA or 2 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per millimeter square. Applying here equal to 2 into 10 to the power q 200 into 10 to the q into e we know that the sigma equal to by the hooks law e into capital e young modulus into small e is the strength and ultimately we get the result of the sigma is 100 newton per millimeter square therefore stress sigma t is load divided area in question Say that find out the tensile force caused by the strain. Therefore, tensile force is here Pt denoted by Pt. This is the load. Then the tensile stress sigma t into a. Another in some book the tensile stress is denoted by F, Ft. The, here Ft is allowable. We have taken. Now the sigma t equal to 100 into area 706.86 ultimately we get the result of 70.7 kilometer. 
नाउ द क्वेश्चन फोर फाइंड आउट द मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम स्ट्रेस ऑफ द स्टेप बार वेन द एक्सली कंप्रेसिव अप्लाइड लोड इज ट्वेंटी किलो न्यूटन एंड इन द फिगर वेयर द अपर पोर्सन डायमीटर इज ट्वेल्व मिलीमीटर एंड लोअर पोर्सन डायमीटर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव मिलीमीटर एंड फर्स्ट वी फाइंड आउट द एरिया दिस इज द स्मॉलर एरिया ए वन विच वैल्यू इज वन वन थ्री पॉइंट वन मिलीमीटर स्क्वायर एंड द मैक्सिमम लार्जर एरिया इज फोर फोर नाइन्टी पॉइंट एट सेवन मिलीमीटर स्क्वायर देन वी फाइंड आउट द मैक्सिमम स्टेस एज पर क्वेश्चन देन द फाइंड आउट मैक्सिमम स्टेस इज टू बोथ स्टेप्ड आर लोडेड ऑन बाय द ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर देर फोर लोड इज अप्लाइड ऑन द बोथ केजेज इज ट्वेंटी इन टू टेन टू दूब न्यूटन देर फोर इफ द लोअर लोअर पोर्सन ऑफ द एरिया इज द स्मॉलर डायमेंसन स्मॉलर वैल्यू देन वी फाइंड आउट द मैक्सिमम स्टेस ड्यू द इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्सनल देन द एरिया इज द लोएस्ट वैल्यू एंड द लोड इज द बोथ कंडीशन इज द सेम देर फोर वी गेट the result of 176.84 newton per millimeter this value is the maximum stress developed on the stepped bar this is the maximum stress on the smallest area and the bottom area is the larger area then the 490.87 which is calculated above question then we put here and the result is 40.74 newton per millimeter square this is the minimum stress of the area then we find out clearly in this question is maximum and minimum stresses if the area is smaller we get maximum stress if the area is larger we get is minimum stress now we go to the question number 5 as per drawing find out the compressive load and shear stress as well as shear area Here, 500 kilo newton is applied on the top of the circular bar, and this diameter is 150 millimeter. Therefore, we first find out the area of the. This area is pi beta 4 into 50 150 whole square. As a result, 1.771 tend to the 4 millimeter square. Now, find out the compressive load. We know that the compressive stress. Fc equal to compressive load divided area. Therefore, compressive stress equal to 25.25 newton per millimeter square. Next question is the flat thickness is 25 millimeter. This is this name is collar. In in engineering design, this is the collar and applied the load of 500 kilo newton. When the load is applied 500 kilo newton, it it will shear. 25 mm thickness of the collar and then the shear area equal to this is the pi into diameter of 150 mm which is the press press is inserting into the collar therefore shear area equal to pi d pi d and thickness of the collar t The value of one point one seven eight ten to a four millimeter square. This is the shear area. Now find out the shear stress. Then the load is applied. This is the compressive load. Here five hundred kilo newton. And area is one point one seven eight ten to a four millimeter square. Ultimately, we get the result of the shear stress tau is forty two point four five newton per millimeter square. We go to the question number six. A hollow steel column is an external load. External diameter is two hundred millimeter, and the external load is applied on two thousand kilo newton. Ultimate tensile stress four eighty newton per millimeter square. And find out the internal diameter given. Factor of safety equal to four. Now first find out the safe stress. Now the safe stress equal to P by A, then the load P two thousand into ten to the cube divided by beta four. Area is the outside diameter minus inside diameter whole square. 
एंड एफ सेफ इक्वल टू अल्टीमेट टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस डिवाइड फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी देन फोर एट्टी डिवाइड फोर विच वैल्यू इज वन ट्वेंटी न्यूटर पर मिलीमीटर स्क्वायर नाउ द दिस सेफ वैल्यू इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर द एफ सेफ वैल्यू एंड वी पुट द एफ सेफ वैल्यू बाय द मैथमेटिकल कैलकुलेशन हियर फोर इंटू टू थाउजेंड इंटू टेन टू टू आर क्यूब डिवाइड पाई इंटू ट्वेंटी आफ्टर मैथमेटिकल कैलकुलेशन we get the internal diameter <coughs> is 137 mm square this is the internal diameter of the column we go through the question number 7 there are two wires steel wire and copper wire which is the same length and applicable of same load p length l is equal to same length then l l c u equal to l s t equal to l and load p is also same load applied on the two wires now we know that the extension of the copper wire is pl a pl divided a into eu and extension of the steel wire pl divided a into est and diameter of the copper wire equal to diameter of the steel i h part the same diameter this is the first question the considering the same dia now the diameter of the steel then area of the copper wire equal to area of the steel equal to a and they are applying the ratio of that extension of the copper wire divided extension of the steel equal to pl by a e c u divided pl divided a e s t and cancellation of the load length and area and ultimate the result is modulus of elasticity of steel to the ratio of modulus of elasticity of copper this value is 2 into 10 to the 5 divided 1.2 10 to the 5 equal to 1.67 therefore ratio of the extension of the copper wire divided ratio of the extension of the steel wire equal to 1.67 now the second part of the question is the for the same extension of the wire and we find out the ratio of the diameter of the copper wire to the ratio of the steel wire then applying the same formula here we consider the area of the copper wire is a cu and area of the steel is a ast and some rearranging the equation and area of the copper wire divided area of the steel equal to est divided ecu this is the modulus of, modulus of elasticity or young modulus of steel divided young modulus of copper this value is earlier question 1.67 i put the area value is pi by 4 d square then the dcu whole square equal to 1.67 and after calculating the dcu by dst the root under is 1.67 this value is 1.29 now the area of the steel wire got the area of the diameter of the copper wire to the ratio of diameter of the steel wire is 1.29 Thank you